We adopted Hannah in November 2019 from a special needs rescue in Wisconsin after being found on the streets in San Antonio. She was about to turn three years old and had been shuffled around between shelters and rescues. They were unable to find a home for her. We had no plans to adopt a dog, let alone a special needs dog, but our hearts fell for her and we decided to bring her home with us. Hannah has a condition called cerebellar hypoplasia. It essentially means that her brain doesn't communicate well with her body in terms of movement and coordination and balance. We do have other dogs in the home. Things just look a little bit different for her. Our motto is happy like Hannah. She truly just runs the household and is very sassy and has all of us wrapped around her fingertips. She can do all the things that the other dogs can do. She just needs some extra supports for some of those things. She's, you know, 65 pounds and isn't able to stand on her own. The wheelchair is crucial for Hannah to be independently mobile. She cannot walk without the chair. We've tried several custom carts that have all failed us. They have not been built to be able to withstand the weight and her force when she's trying to move. Oh, oh God. We started to wonder if we were ever going to be able to have something made for her that worked well for her and supported her like we needed it to. We found Dive Design on Instagram. Dive Design and Bionic Pets posted a video of a dog that had one of their jackets. I messaged them on Instagram just asking, you know, had they ever made a quad cart? When Cassidy reached out about Wobbly Hannah, it was very evident the frustration she has gone through. She basically needs to be held at all times in order to stand or, or walk correctly. We knew that we had to step in. Adam and Alex set up a video chat where we were able to discuss what that might look like and from there the Dive Design and Bionic Pets team has really just been working really hard with us to design something that will work for Hannah. Wobbly Hannah was not local to us. We're in New Jersey, she's in Nebraska, and this is a custom wheelchair so we needed to fit her perfectly. So what we tried was a new scanning technology where Cassidy was able to scan Hannah send us the file and we were able to bring it into virtual reality where we can design and iterate around her in 3D. After a lot of iterating, we were ready to start 3D printing different prototypes to start testing our designs. We didn't know of a material that would really be able to work for this. We needed something lightweight yet still durable and had the stiffness of something reinforced but there weren't really many accessible options on the market, so we were really left hanging with what we would be able to use. So I was at home, I was scrolling on Instagram, and I came across Dive Design Instagram feed, and they were doing some really amazing work with Bionic Pets. I myself am a pet owner, so I immediately gravitated towards what they were doing, so I decided to reach out to them. When we had the opportunity to tell Brascom about Wobbly Hannah and the challenges that we were going through finding material that was gonna be right for this, I think they felt just as motivated to help as we did. They showed us her feed and we immediately just fell in love with this dog. Luckily for us, they had a material that was going to be a great solution. Polypropylene is not new to 3D printing. It's been around for a while, but it's traditionally been hard to print, high warpage, poor interlayer adhesion. We wanted to solve those things. And for the past two years, we've been developing a formulation specifically designed for 3D printing our carbon fiber reinforced polypropylene is six times stronger than our unfilled PP. If you can print with PLA, there's a good chance you can print with our polypropylene. We were a little bit worried at first just from our prior experience with printing polypropylene, but this was actually really exciting when we started printing it and it was sticking perfectly. The parts were coming off incredibly clean. The surface finish was like flawless. We just haven't seen something like that in a consumer grade material. So we were super excited to see this all put together. got off the first flight, we're getting closer, we're getting very excited. The package should be there soon, we're waiting flight. to see. One more flight. One more. We are five minutes away and we're starting to feel the pressure, but we are really excited. It's been four, four months, months in the making. Four months, yeah. Oh, we made it. Hey, guys. Nice to meet you. We'll say, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks.
Cases like this are one of our favorites because we really get to be innovative. We really get to explore not only on the material side, but also on the design side. We have a lot of freedom here to come up with a solution that's never really been done before. There's no model for us to follow. There's no real guide to how to build these things. So it's really up to us to test, to iterate, to prototype, and go through that as many times as we need to, to make this right. We just want her to continue to live a happy and healthy life. And that will include um, having her mobility and being supported while she does the things that the other dogs can do. Even greater than that, my hope is that making this cart and having this design helps so many more pets to have the life that she does. If that's what her legacy ends up being, then that's wonderful.